I'm so ready. Hello, my name is Patrick John ready. Coleman. I'm a psychic and a medium and a shaman here in Chicago, Illinois. Uh, and so, and last night, the reptilian showed up. <laughs> <laughs> Not again. Good intro. I, uh... I'm, I'm a psychic and a medium and a shaman from Chicago, Illinois. And last night, the reptilians showed up. It sounds like a fucking fun sitcom. If he wants to be taken a little bit more seriously, either more or less sleeves. You have to commit <laughs> one way or the other, because this, this like full shoulder tank top, not doing it for me. <laughs> I would say the facial hair could use some tweaking, too. <laughs> just maybe a little. Like, it either needs to be thicker or just not there at all. Yeah, he's in this weird limbo stage, like a psychic. And, uh, it was about seven oh. of them, and I'm going to explain to you seven how this happened. Seven reptilians. Okay, so kind of like the seven when, um, dwarfs, I'm listening but to certain people scary lizards in a instead. podcast, or when I'm talking to certain people on the phone, I can close my eyes and I can see their face, but their true face, what they really, really look like. Oh. So I was listening to um, a certain person on a podcast, and was it um, me? So I was just like closing my eyes, and and that person was talking, and their face was just kind of shifty. Like, um, here, let me show you what that looks like, because uh, there's an effect on this camera that kind of shows uh, people what, um, how I see it. What a so happy, what a happy coincidence that it is. It looks kind of like this, and it's kind of like this. There we go. <coughs> Sorry. So when people are talking... So, I... in, with your psychic vision, you can see faces shittier than with your eyes. <laughs> That's an amazing power. You can kind of see them like this. But um, it's kind of blurry like this. So I can see them talking and their faces are like this. And they're talking and uh, it doesn't matter if it happened in the past or if it's yes. right now. I bet you I guys didn't know faces. that your true face was blurry and green, but it, it is. It reminds me of that one song that... Take me on, take, take on, on me. me. I don't know the words. Yeah. My my wife can play that on the ukulele, so. Really? Yes. Will you get her on so we can listen to that, and then we can sing it? It'll be a whole thing. No, no we'll one wants We'll be famous. That. No one wants that. Worldwide. No, yeah. There are, too I, many, I, there are too many white girls playing ukuleles. <laughs> That's true. Name three. Name three. The chick from Scrubs. The okay. chick from New Girl. What the f Zoe De Chanel? Okay, I'm gonna count with Zoe De Chanel twice because she's that. Oh, fuck. I'm a quirky white girl. Okay, fine, you win. I'm so quirky, bro. That's... Quirky. <laughs> when they talk. I wonder if this guy okay. plays the ukulele. So let me. One take of the that reptilians off, probably off, did. And that off. Okay. What they call so it a uke. listen to this podcast about uke. something really important to my life and my journey right now. Rebuke and the then, uke. Um, all of a sudden, that person's face sort of. Turn into a reptilian face. Oh my and god, y'all! That person went. <laughs> so wait, wait, wait! Hold on, hold on. So not only, not only could he see the person's true reptilian face, but the reptilian knew that he could see his true face and decided to do like a little. Shh. Let that just be our little secret, y'all. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's pretty cool. I like him. Let's get him on the show sometime. He's a shaman. He's a shaman. What is, does, he doesn't have like a long robe or beads or much of a beard. He doesn't look no. like a shaman. He doesn't you have just a have, stick that makes noise. But his, his true face has all that. <laughs> uh, I see. Shaman face. And then, because that's why I'm not going to tell you who it is. And then, and then that person smiled at me. And I was like, oh my gosh, you're a reptilian. And um, wow. so then another. <laughs> oh my gosh. You say, right? That's the name. That's the name of the sitcom. Oh my gosh. Yo, reptilian. He didn't mention <laughs> that this was after he took the acid. Yeah. It's yeah. just like my name is Earl, except always they turn out to be reptilians. <laughs> yeah. He goes around the world meeting reptilians and making things right for him. But actually, reptilians are not the only creatures he encounters, as we'll hear later in the video. Okay. Reptilians kind of sort of came up to the, the, the third eye surface, and, and then they, their, their tongue came out. And, all, <laughs> and I, I was like, I, was, I started to get really scared <laughs> at first. And then I was like, no, I'm a good person. If anybody wants to hurt me, then that means they're evil. They're really, really evil. And I don't believe that reptilians are really, really evil. I just think reptilians are reptilians. 
Humans are humans. Things just are. There is no good. There is no evil. Wait. So I was able to push so through there, that there, fear. You're good. You're just a minute ago. You're good, and anything that would attack you would be evil. And then all of a sudden, there is no good and evil. So how does that work? Uh, why? Why am I even focusing on that when he's talking about seeing reptiles? I don't like, know. I think at this point we've just resigned to an end, and we're like, all right, <laughs> fuck it. We we buy in. Teach Everyone us, buys shaman. in. Teach us, oh great shaman. Teach us of the reptilians and their lessons. I mean, I was ter I'll be honest with you. I was terrified. <laughs> and pushing through that fear was like, I'm getting visited by reptilians now. Okay. So I've been vi visited by ghosts and aliens and demons and everything else. So now the So he's been visited up. by ghosts okay. and aliens and demons. Wait, wait. Well how do heard. aliens fit in with ghosts and demons? Aliens, wouldn't they just be like, I don't know. I wish my lo I wish I were as crazy as this person. I wish I could live my life and just be like, "Oh, alien showed up again today. Oh well, you know." Yeah. Every day is Picard's life. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Right, you know, and he gets to meet the like and demons. You know, he's just like walking down the street and he's like, he just a demon walks by and just kind of tips his hat like, "How are you doing?" He's like, "Oh, I'm fine. I'm Thanks doing for asking." Pretty good, demon. Thanks for asking. I'm really happy that you're here today. Now I know you shouldn't want to hurt me because I'm good. I mean, you might be evil because usually demons are evil, but you know, I don't believe in good and evil. So you please don't hurt me, sir. He's like, <laughs> "Fuck you!" And he eats him. Say, y'all reptilians, don't bite me, cause I might ask you to do that again. Oh maybe. my! <laughs> is he the right. is he the gay guy from Family Guy now? Is that yeah. right? <laughs> he's officially well, that guy. He sounds like that guy. <laughs> Toby, but with they an just eye. sort of like they just sort of came eye. forward. There were about seven or eight of them, maybe nine, but they just sort of came forward and regarded me, and I just regarded them back. They just came up to me. They were all like a little bit different. They all looked a little different. And they just came up. That to me adds credibility me. to the story. No. The fact that they don't all look exactly the same. It sounds know? like any typical racist white guy explaining any other race. <laughs> like, you know, the Asians, they all look a little bit different, and we regarded each other, and then that was it. <laughs> At first, I thought they was going to do some kung fu, but, you know, then they just walked on by. Oh, what if the reptilians know kung fu? We're in big trouble. Yep. Out their head. I nodded back. <laughs> Some information was exchanged like this. Like this. What? Some that? information. It was almost like they were Information was exchanged for doing like this. Something. And I'm not sure what that is yet, but uh, it was really pretty cool. And then I slept really, really well. And then slept I woke up this well. morning with a list of things to do. And um, that's how we, that's how, that's where we are. Because if I am going to be a psychic medium and shaman uh, and be a really good Couldn't one. Couldn't you just I'm pick one? You have to be all of those things. He's an overachiever, I mean, goddammit. Yeah, it's like, you know, you're making the rest of us look bad. He's yeah. blowing Ryan Wiley out of the water. Right, know? Ryan Wiley, he just has a math degree. This guy's a psychic, he's a fucking medium. I don't even know how those two things are different. He's yeah. also a shaman, and he's met reptilians, he's met aliens, he's met ghosts. He's, he's met got a better haircut and a better demons. fashion sense. Yeah, this is, this. Ryan he needs to fucking himself, step though. it up. He definitely cut that himself. If you look on his right, all yeah. right, it's it's certainly irregular where he like fucked it up a little bit. Good like he goes him, to though. he goes to the store and he sees all these shirts. Like man, why they all got sleeves on them? Ugh. It's so hot in my apartment. I don't want to spend the extra electricity <laughs> on the AC. So you know you just gotta do what's right and you just gotta cut your sleeves <laughs> off. It's really economical. And then you can use the sleeves as a bandana and you can you can wet them and you can just be cool all day. <laughs> Somebody, somebody in the chat room, somebody in the chat room called him Gay Dusty. <laughs> gay Dusty. <laughs> he is Gay Dusty. Oh, we should get Dusty and him on at the same time and have Dusty do a gay voice and then just see what happens. Yeah, I want him. I want him on the show so we can ask him about all the things he's seen because you know it seems like he leads an interesting life. Now I'll right. give him this. For F, of all the crazy people I've ever he seen, he seems the most committed. He seems pleasant, if yeah. nothing else, though. He seems right, like a nice you know, person. He seems out of out of everyone else we've had on the, uh, you know, all the videos we've played tonight. I would say he's the most tolerable one. Right, you know, I'd like to, you know, you could actually hang out with him. Like, you know, he might be a crazy fuck that, but I mean, at least he's he fun. He probably, I mean, he believes in aliens, so at least he knows there's other planets out there, you know? <laughs> at least he doesn't think the stars are fallen fucking angels. He's still got a leg up on that crazy bitch. And he seems like a nice guy. Good one. 
uh, I would have to kind of... I mean, hell, he doesn't even judge people for being reptiles, for fuck's sake. A lot. About a lot of different races, a lot of different religions, a lot of different belief systems, a He's lot of different illnesses, racism. a lot of different things. And uh, it's just part of it. So the reptilian showed up. But I want to know what happens next. About seven minutes after my mushroom dealer. <laughs> Wait, was that the end of his video? Yes. Yeah, yep. that was. That, that is was... the best way to end the video. I, I, I want to know. Automatically want to watch the next one. I want to know what happens next too. Oh no! Cliffhanger. It's like Breaking Bad only on Look, YouTube. Line and it's sinker. Like, yes. He's got us. Oh man, I wish I could be on the show every week just so I could meet him. <laughs> just on the off chance he's on Skype one day. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get him on here. He'll come on the show. Maybe we can get him to bring some reptilians on the show, too. Oh, yes! Please. That would be the best of things. Ben, are you, are you a reptilian? Because I don't have his psychic power, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>